Welcome to Q&A software, the GST compliant accounting software for your company. In this video, I will show you how to customize a tax invoice in Q&A Delphi Report Designer. First, let's choose an invoice to work on. Go to Sales, Invoices. Let's select an invoice to work on. Then click on Print. In here, you will see a Customize button. So, click on Customize. Let's select a template to amend. I will choose the invoice with GST 2015 and click on Amend. This is the report designer. Now, I will show you how to amend a field. For example, I want to change your PO number to our DO number. The field on the left is merely a text field, so we can just change the text here. As for the field on the right, it is a field called a DB text field. It pulls data from the database tables. Hence, we will have to assign the appropriate field to it. Click on the drop down list here and we should look for our DO number. Now, I will show you how to delete some fields. As a wholly standard rated supplier, since all the items come with GST, we are only required to display the total GST in the bottom and do not need to display the GST in every single item. So I can remove the taxable amount, rate and GST amount column. I can select multiple fields by holding down the shift button and select the fields, then press the delete button on my keyboard. Now I will reposition the fields since we have more space. We can also snap the position of two fields together by holding down the shift button and selecting the other field and align them using the align buttons. Let's say I've accidentally deleted the UOM fields and I want to add them back. First, I will have to add the title field. So click on the text button and select where we want to position it. Now rename it to UOM. Secondly, we will have to add a DB text field to display the values from database tables. So click on the DB text field and select a place to position it. Now assign the value to the field. We will have to select a table where the value is in. For example, URM is in Sales Invoice Table, and at the drop down list beside it, we will find Items URM. I can highlight the whole block and delete it as well. Now, at the Notes section, you might want to edit the wordings here. Let's say I want to remove this sentence. Just click on it and delete. And for this sentence, I want to change the wordings. So select the field and at the text editor field, you can change the wordings here. Now we can preview the report by going to the preview tab. If there is an error when previewing, it means that we have deleted a field that contains coding. Hence, go to the calculation tab and in the view menu, select events. Look for any red wordings, which indicate the error location. And here it is. Now select on it, right click, and delete. Now we can successfully preview it. Let's say I'm still not satisfied with the size of the invoice details. So I can select multiple fields by highlighting them and change the font size here. Let's preview it once again. Once we are satisfied, save the report by going to File, Save As, and give this report template a name. Then click on Save. Remember, do not overwrite the existing template. Let's preview this invoice from the Print menu and you'll be able to see the newly created template. Let's preview using the new template. And this is the result of our customization.
Users may not know which database fields to select when customizing their existing text invoice format. Hence, now I'm going to show you which fields to pull. You can always refer to the SR23 format. With the implementation of GST, Kenny Firebird now has a new data pipeline known as GST Summary, GST Data, and GST Info. To show total excluding GST amount, create the DB text from GST Info Data Pipeline and select Item GST Amount Local. To show the GST amount, you can create another DB text from GST Info Data Pipeline as well and select Item GST Text Amount Local. Now to show the total including GST, Create a DB text from GST Info Pipeline and select Item GST Total Local. And to show the text code, select GST Info in the Data Pipeline and select GST Text Code. If you are a wholly taxable supplies company, all items has GST. Thus, you are only required to display the total GST at the bottom and do not need to display GST for every single item. So, to show the total GST at the bottom of the text invoice, create a DB text and select GST data in the data pipeline and select GST tax amount. And finally, to show the total payable, create a DB text field and select GST data in the data pipeline. Then select net amount here. Thank you for watching.